It is beautiful out there, ladies. I mean, you can see the sunshine is right now in full force as we take a view from our QS camera. And we're not dealing with any wet weather this Wednesday. It's gonna stay dry just like yesterday. Basically a repeat, except the breeze has picked up a little bit more out of the east, 10 to 15 miles an hour. And temperatures right now in the upper 70s and low 80s right now, mostly low 80s. In fact, 82 in Weston and Kendall, 81 in Miami, 79 in Fort Lauderdale down through the Keys, the low 80s. As we check in on the rest of the U.S., it's warm across the southeast with the 80s and the upper 70s. 67 in New York City, 51 in Boston. Right now, the 20s and 30s across the northern tier and even through Denver, 36 right now. 63 in Vegas, 56 in L.A. and 50 in Seattle. Some wet and wintry weather moving across the western half of the nation, across the Rockies, some snow there. But the big story today is the threat for severe storms across Across the deep south, the Gulf Coast states, you can see how active it is here, stretching into Texas and Louisiana, as well as Mississippi, where there is a slight risk of severe storms and even a marginal risk of severe storms for some of the states surrounding that area. So that will be quite an active uh, area here as we head throughout the day. Also, the volcano in St. Vincent has been very active, the Soufrier volcano, and it did ex uh, have an eruption in the morning yesterday and then late at night, sending that volcanic ash up 35,000 feet. And unfortunately for Barbados and many islands in the Eastern Caribbean, the wind out of the West will continue to steer the volcanic ash towards those areas. So something that of course we're keeping them in our thoughts and prayers because this is a very active volcano at this point. For our weather though, it's quiet. Plenty of sunshine, warm highs in the low to mid eighties. And that breeze out of the East feels wonderful. For you boaters, winds east 10 to 15 knots, seas 2 to 3, and a light chop on the bays. Tonight, lows will be in the upper 60s and low 70s. It'll be pleasant, and the winds will lighten up overnight. And we're seeing a lot of red on the moisture forecast map because high pressure is hanging on, and that dry, stable air is going to stay with us as we head throughout the day today, tomorrow, Friday. Notice how as we get into the weekend, the green, the deepest moisture will likely be across central North Florida. But as we head into late Sunday into Monday, our atmosphere will also start to moisten up and become unsettled. So let's enjoy these drier days while we can, and we'll see warmer weather too with highs in the upper 80s for your Thursday and Friday. It's going to be sizzling as we head into the weekend. Highs climb to 90 degrees, hot and humid, and then a better chance of showers and storms Sunday, but especially into Monday. Maribel and Francis.